Good morning and welcome to the Morning Coffee with John Plassard. Today, I'm focusing on the rebound of the oil price. Last month, when oil price fen fell to the horrifying low of minus 42% per barrel, investors started to worry about looming oversupplied issue. But this week, we saw prices start to rise and Donald Trump was quick to applaud the move upward. The end of lockdowns, he said, will bring back oil demand. That's true to a certain degree, but it doesn't paint a complete picture of the oil industry and the other side of coronavirus. Reopening economies will indeed increase the demand for oil, but whether or not it will be enough to offset the supply glut is debatable. First of all, a report from the International Energy Agency shows that demand for oil in 2020 is all but lost due to coronavirus lockdown. In April, when most of the world was stuck inside, all demand is expected to have come in 29 million barrels per day lower than where it was in 2019. Even if most nations comes out of quarantine in uh, the next summer, demand for oil in December is expected to fall by 2.7 million barrels per day from the previous year, so 2019. Second of all, investors might not be accounting for the dramatic shift in consumer behavior in a post-coronavirus world. Most importantly is the resumption of airline travels. In the absence of coronavirus vaccine, international travel is likely to be extremely limited and use more video conference, for example. If we take the example of China, where the government has been gradually easing lockdown measures from for the past months, airline travels appear to have plateaued without showing signs of rapid recovery. Finally, the supply concern that look uh, oil price below zero uh, dollar in April still exists. The supply cut that producers agreed to last month isn't large enough to offset demand weakness through the summer as travel plans are canceled, for example. According to Goldman Sachs, production cut of 18 million barrels per day are necessary to balance out supply and demand. This is almost twice as much as OPEC Plus agreed to cut in April. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Stay safe. Keep on winning and read my morning.